Good morning everybody. We are out and about again and this time we're in Lytham St Anne's. It's just about half a mile from Blackpool to be honest. I've never been to Lytham St Anne's before, it's a bugger to say. So I'm here with my master. We're going to have a look around Lytham St Anne's and up to now it looks pretty good. Some funky music going on in the background. That can't be copyrighted because it's just a load of rubbish. Let's get a look. Our west is looking pretty good. This is, as it says there, the square. It's not really square, but it is the square. Buildings look fab. Over there, a lot of renovation going on. Cantonese restaurant above Tesco's. Cantonese restaurant above Tesco's there. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's a big crane there. And once again, we've got blue sky. Blue sky. The ocean is that away. We'll get a bit closer to there after. Look these are weird, weird lights. They are strange. The office. It's not an office, is it? They are promenade attractions, it says there in brown. Further down the here. Being in bargains being reconstructed, or the building above it certainly is. I like these. These are good, aren't they? Let's get down there towards the promenade attractions and see what's so attractive about the promenade, eh? Through we go. Oh, look at the Lord Derby over there. That looks nice. Mmm, a lovely sunny day. It's not very often sunny in this country, is it? But uh, look at them properties down there in the distance. I don't know if you can see them that well through this camera, but that's something I have a fairy tale. Anyway, let's get across the road once it changes to red. You see what's down here? Very fetching apartments there. I'm liking a look at that in the distance. Let's get closer. I have the good old Lord Derby. Family fun days here every weekend. And it says there, download our season ticket for 10% off drinks. Season ticket. Heavens. Well, majestic next door doesn't look that majestic, but there you go. Or Braxfield Court. Obviously, uh, living accommodations. Not holiday resorts. Private, no parking. Building on the end looks fab. And the nicest thing about that building there is that archway. And I'm liking that. Oh, it's actually filed council. Down at the end here we got St Anne's Pier. Fish and chips, fun amusements. Okay, let's get closer to do it for a better look. Not to expect on a seafront. Like Lisbon's and Anne's, rows and rows, hotels, inns. Well, there's one there called Inn on the Prom. Very imaginatively titled. And here, I suppose in the summertime, this will be full of water. And that'll be just fun, isn't it? to cool you down a tad. Got some information over here, let's go and have a look. So about our lens flare, the sun's directly in front of me. It's not as warm as it looks. Here we are, Promenade Gardens. Ah. And the sun's gone now. Promenade Gardens looks very nice. I don't know whether they're under development or actually here. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Paddling pool. There you go, paddling pool. Children must be accompanied by a parent, adult, or guardian. Proper swimming time must be worn. No speed or heeled shoes are permitted. <laughs> Infants not toilet trained must wear swim nappies. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 
is a monument. Monument commemorates the 27 brave lifeboatmen who lost their lives in December 1886. Wow, that's a long time ago. There you go. That's what it looked like in 1886. All similar. Right behind me is the beach. As you see, the ocean is absolutely miles away. There's the pier that we're, we are going to go and have a look at. We'll be getting ice cream, that's for certain. Not in this weather. Ew. Now, when these ornamental gardens are in full bloom, they're going to look absolutely beautiful. And each stretch has something different as regards plants and flowers. And the actual layout. At the end of this little stretch, we've got a very, very fetching little fountain. It's obviously been very, very well kept. Just opposite the Dalmeny Hotel. The weirdest front I've ever seen to a hotel. Looks like a nuclear bunker. But that's just me. And here is the fountain itself. I'll get the other side of it so I'm not filming directly into the sunlight. Very nice. Getting a bit further away from the pier that we're going to visit soon, but I had to come and have a look at these. Look at that. What a great place for a chippy. The view, fish and chips. All the buildings here, there's a cinema over there. The wind's just starting to pick up again. Oh, that building is over there. That's the strangest looking building I've ever seen. We're on the prom, yeah. It's a lot quieter than Blackpool, but for those of you like me who would rather have a bit of peace and quiet, I would say Lyndon St Anne's is a preferred destination. Well, it is for me. Love the old Victorian shelters and seats here. Splendid. Nice rock formations for the flowers, seats in concrete, very nice too. All sorts of little cafes and eateries. Nice little lake, probably sea water as the ocean is directly over there. Liking Lisbon St Anne's already, liking it very much. All we need now is find ourselves a good pie shop and get ourselves a nice pie. On the way here through Macclesfield, uh, one of my favourite little farm shop. As I was driving past, saw the rum steaks were on half price, so I turned the car around and went back and bought them out. <laughs> Boy up. Here comes the chopper. We're right near the airport. Right near the airport. I didn't know we were that close to the, to the airport and helicopters and all sorts of pilot training going on. And I bought the drone. I ain't gonna be flying that. Because it's against the law. Okay, what do we got over there? Let's have a look. And look at these fabulous Pullman carriages. Which is the station cafe bar. Where they do breakfasts and traditional fish and chips. Oh, doesn't that look real? Fish and chips 6 95 that's not bad at all, that's very well priced. I've seen this before with these Pullman carriages for restaurants. I didn't know there was one here. Obviously that's not going to run anymore is it, but what a great idea. What a brilliant idea. And a gift shop as well. That's really nice, really nice. The sun going out, you think it's really hot, it's not, it's bloody cold. Even though we're in March. We even have a sea view bar and restaurant there, and right next door, a Toby Carberry. For those of you craving an English Sunday dinner when you're away on holiday, 
Uh, don't let your kids on that. Don't look very safe to me. <laughs> a new cinema. I buy must have just said we're rolling back the years. We've stopped for some hot fresh donuts. Which can't be the process of being cute. You can't go to a place like this without having donuts, can you? Can you? I can't. So, any minute now. Chocolate Claire, anybody? Anybody? Chocolate Claire? Oh, oh. Nice to see some restoration work going on there. The building looks beautiful. And a lot of restoration. Keeping it looking like it should. Now then. There's a little Asian fella down there, he's uh, playing the saxophone as you can hear. And he was playing it really, really well, so I had to bung a few quid in his, in his little pot, bless him. To love to hear music like that. Whoa. Boots looks brilliant up there, doesn't it? All tiles. Nice. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look at them buildings there. Look at that. They look fun. Bloody fantastic, man. Ah, the card factory. Lindemann Anne's card factory. Everywhere's got one. Look at the Starbucks. Love these old seating areas. So nice, a nice little mosaic in the middle. Absolutely lovely. Nice to see. And no filter coffee house. Nice and busy. They do look like fairy tale houses then. Striking architecture. Meet and eat. Here we go. The tan ass. Oh, bargains is very small. Like in the townhouse, though. Accessible ramp entrance to the townhouse to the right, which is very, very good. Well done, townhouse. Good on y'all. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And right opposite, the dog's nuts. <laughs> no way. Live music every Sunday in the Ducks Nuts. Right. I'd love to go in there. Oh, got to drive home. Ducks Nuts. Come on. A black sheep, tea room, St. Dan's. Oh, I do like that building. I do like that building a lot. And Jose next door. Okay. Flymaster's off. Heading back towards the car. Now this was, and still is, Lytham St. Anne's. So if you enjoyed the tour, give me a like. If you watched the video, please give it a like. It does help the channel. That's all I ask for the entertainment I bring you. So anyway, me and Pie Master will see you next time. We're out and about. So it's goodbye from Lytham St. Anne's, me, Pie Master, and... The duck's nuts.